there, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah's story. This is a home I cleaned for a lovely lady struggling with her mental health. I know it can be overwhelming once things become a mess in your home, but I'd like to share the best way to get your home back to a livable, homely environment you need. But I'll come back to that a bit later on. Here's Sarah's story when she reached out. Normally, I am a clean person, but when lockdown hit, I lost my job and I was at home all of the time. It just got on top of me. Then finally, I managed to get back on top of things, but then my mental health really declined. So did many other things, my life, my relationship and mainly my home hygiene. It got so bad, I stopped asking my family over. But then I came across your post and thought I'd send you a message. So here we are. Sarah sent me the message and uh, a few days later, I went and started cleaning her home. So here are the last bits, uh, last part of the clean. And here we are, did a nice and sparkly and clean. The bathrooms came up really nice. They did the bedroom. Sparkly and clean. Sarah was a very happy lady. What a difference. This clean took uh, around five hours. And her home came up lovely once it was cleaned. What a great job. It smelled and looked lovely. So here we are. Here's the footage of us cleaning. I had a volunteer and uh, she really did a great job. So thank you very much, Amanda. This is the bedroom. We started on the bedroom. I'll give you a little bit of um, advice on, on how we started. So I would usually advise start from the top and work your way down. Uh, but on these occasions, if you've got a lot of rubbish on the floors, I would suggest that you get your floor cleared first. I would have a few bags ready um, so you can put clothes in one bag, rubbish in another. Um, if we came across recycling, we uh, we we put that to one side. So, really, you just try and get your floor clear. We started on the bedroom mainly because it was probably the um, the messiest room. Really, um, we worked our way through. I usually uh, go into the uh, kitchen and I, I will try and uh, fill the pots and things up if there's space for it to sit and soak. Uh, it will make your life a little bit easier later on when you come to uh, wash up. Especially if things have been sat there for a while with food on. I also do the same when it comes to like toilets, ovens, microwaves. I literally put product on it and leave it to sit and go on and do another job. And later on, I'll come back to it. As you can see, I'm cleaning the rubbish again off the bed. Uh, any valuables I put to one side.
So it was really uh, just a lot of rubbish, like food containers and um, takeaway packages. Um, so I, I am very careful usually um, with what I'm throwing away. I try and do my best anyway. <laughs> So once you really get through the worst of it, I would suggest if if you're having somebody do it for you, then that's fine. But if you're doing it yourself, don't pile too much on yourself. Even if you just do one clean, one room, sorry, a day um, and and literally take your time that's fine you don't have to do the whole the whole clean in one day so i literally get rid of most of the rubbish and once uh, once that's clear then you can concentrate on um wiping sides down hoovering but I usually clear everything first, then I'll move the bed out. Because you usually find quite a lot of rubbish behind beds. <laughs> so when we first got to this property, I'll be quite honest, we had to open all the windows the smell was pretty bad. Uh, so yes, open. I suggest open windows, let it air through, let everything uh, We need clear air. <laughs> I always ask clients about clothes because you never really know if it's clean or dirty. So I usually just put it all into a bag and say, would you like me to put washing in or would you like me to leave it? I think 95% uh, of clients usually will say, uh, it's okay, well, I'll sort my own washing out, which is, uh, which is fine. I think, uh, you know, it's a personal, personal thing. Here we go. So the floor is getting clear. We can actually see the carpet. <laughs> More rubbish. It's surprising actually once once you uh get going how much rubbish you you actually build up. I think we had around six or seven big bags full of rubbish. I did strip off the bed as well. Um uh, gave gave Sarah clean, clean bed covers. So, once I once I got the worst of this room done, I again I took plates through, let them soak. It was quite a lot. Ooh, yum. <laughs> so we finished this bedroom and uh, we've basically worked our way through 
uh, Sarah had an ensuite bathroom and uh, and, a, and a bathroom. Uh, sorry, an ensuite with a shower and an uh, and a bathroom. So. You know, once we got it all done, it it really did look nice. It was it's a nice little property. And it just needed a little bit of TLC again. I mean, I feel so sorry for anybody that gets into this situation because it's a bit of a vicious circle, really. Um, you know, your mental health declines and everything around you sort of falls apart, really. And it it really does make you feel a lot worse when you're surrounded by uh, rubbish and, and uh, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel homely. So here we are behind the bed. There was quite a bit of rubbish behind the bed, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. Here's the hallway. Again, a little bit of rubbish and things on the floor. I cleared, a f uh, cleaned uh, a few marks off the carpet. Again, any products you'd like to know about, please uh, just message below and uh, I'll do my best to uh, to give you the information. Here I am hoovering. At this stage, it feels good because you 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 know you're seeing a room again. It's uh, light at the end of the tunnel. I usually put down uh, carpet sprinkles. I just let it sit and it makes a real difference to the smell, especially if you've had a lot of rubbish sitting on sitting on the carpet for some time. Uh, I mean, in some cases, um, a carpet cleaner will be needed, but um, it wasn't too bad. And a good hoover always makes the difference. Wow, what a difference already. Here we go. We're going to have a surprise in a minute. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. Yeah, lot, lots of rubbish in the kitchen. Uh, it needed... Uh... Again, oh, here we go. Maggots. This pot had sat for quite some time with food in. Uh, so we had to get rid of that and... Give it a really good clean out. Again, you clean clean all the surfaces down. On this occasion, I think I was using Zoflora. Here we go. You can actually see surface again. <laughs> It just, it's, it feels so good once you get to this stage and everything's clean. And I love using my Scrub Daddy sponge. Ooh, what are we going to find here? Ooh, that's been there for some time. Lovely. This is bad. Oh, I can't even get it. Yeah. I had to give that a good uh, soak. Look, we got there.
<sighs> Definitely bring lots of gloves <laughs> or buy lots of gloves, should I say. Okay, here we are in the bathroom. And I keep calling it a bathroom, so I do apologise, guys. The ensuite shower. So again, I'm using Scrub Daddy. Really good for getting rid of the grime. Comes off so easily. There we go. And <clears throat> also, you will find with a lot of showers, hair collects uh, in the in the in the plug, in the hole, should I say? So that usually will need a good clean. Wow, what a difference. It smelt, it smelt so much better. <laughs> so here I am doing the finishing touches. I put on a wax melt can, uh, <clears throat> burner. Making the bed. Lovely and clear. Da -da. So here's some pictures of the products I use on, on that particular day. Fabulousa. They're just some wipes that I like to use here and there. Zoflora. Uh, always get microfiber cloths. They are the best when... Uh, when using on mirrors these sponges are great spruce eco-friendly product if you'd like to know more about it please comment here we go with uh scrub daddy oh what spruce again <laughs> uh small again an eco-friendly product <clears throat> 